Okay guys, number 4. Read through the given answers. Why you need to do this? Because you will get roughly ideas on what the text is all about. That's why you need to read again and again. 5. Go back to the passage and read the sentences that come before and after the missing paragraphs. You have to do this in order for you to look for clues. The last tips is choose answer that fit best. After you have placed all the paragraphs into the gaps, go back and read the passage to see if it sounds right. I took the sample question from www.lifeworksheets.com. Okay, you can go through the worksheet later on. Do you still remember what you need to do? Okay, first one. Read the instructions given carefully. Number two, read the title of the text because the title gives you the overall impressions of the text. Thirdly, read the entire passage from start to finish so that you will get the whole idea what the text is all about. And don't forget to use highlighters to mark the subtopics or underline the keywords. Next, read through the given answers from A to H. Later, go back to the passage and read the sentences that come before and after the missing paragraph in order for you to look for the clues. Next tip is pay special attention to pronouns and subject verb agreements when choosing a paragraph for the missing sections. And Lastly, choose answer that fit best. Dear students, while reading the passage, you are advised to highlight the subtopic or underline the keywords. Here, I've done a few for you. Now look at the first one, the title, My Father and I. And then the word military. Nerve wracking. Difficult. Blessing, realized, started, still little, and the phrase to get up without an alarm clock. And I found the answer for question 35. The answer is E. Nevertheless, it would take years before my younger self would reach such realization. Okay, now we go to the next question, question 36. The answer is C. Before that, it was much easier to get away with things. And then 37, the answer is G. It was tough for me at first. Okay, we'll try to read whether it is suit or not. The upbringing that I went through is actually a blessing when I realized the rewards later on in my life. Nevertheless, it would take years before my younger self would reach such realization. And then, question 36. It all began when I started kindergarten at the age of 6. Before that, it was much easier to get away with things. Now, question 37. Start with, It was tough for me at first. I was, it, I was taught to get up without an alarm clock because discipline was an intricate part of our daily lives. So, that is how you answer the question. I would like to summarize our lessons today. This method tests your ability to see how a text is structured and how it makes sense through its references backwards and forwards. 
In order to complete the task successfully, you will first need to have a general idea of what the passage is about. So, a quick reading of the gap text without worrying about unknown words is the first things to do. And next, while skimming through the text, try to note what information is given about the topic in each paragraph of the text, how the main ideas develop from paragraph to paragraph, and what you expect to come in the gaps. Then, you should look at each of the sentences in turn and begin to match information in the sentences to information in different sections of the text, thinking about which sentence might come. However, you need now to read the text very carefully because there are clues in the passage both before and after each gap. The development of ideas can be seen between sentences and paragraphs of the text, words and phrases, and grammatical structures that may indicate such relations in the text. That's all students. Thank you for watching.